Hello. This is Julia M. Spencer. I'm a real estate advisor, investor, and your number one source for real estate advice online. And welcome to one of my videos here from downtown Savannah. I'm actually here early in the morning. So this is kind of cool because it's summertime and it's beautiful in the morning. If you ever have a chance to go to Savannah and check out the beautiful squares, please do so. Try not to get run over. Anyways, it's Tuesday morning. It's the first Tuesday of the month, 10 a.m., shortly thereafter, actually. And we are um, on the way back from a tax sale foreclosure auction. Now, um, there was really only a few properties on the um, block today. And this is kind of cool. Let me turn around so you can see this. This is Savannah right here. Very awesome. Hopefully they'll wave to me. Woohoo! <laughs> Anyways, or she's filming me. I'm filming her. <laughs> um, so we only had a few properties today, and but gladly um, I got to meet one of my lawyer friends that is also has an active lawyer practice, and um, um, he was only interested in one property. But the actual tax foreclosure sale was canceled. They had an in rem sale. If you don't know what in rem is check out some of my um, videos on that on um, in rem tax foreclosures I'm gonna stand here for a minute because there's traffic <laughs> um, but basically in rem foreclosures are ones that have a very short redemption period it's only 60 days instead of the year they had one of those just um, one um, one property that was sold I'm gonna drive by it actually after this video. I'm gonna add it to this video so you can see what they sold and how much it went for. And um, basically, um, I guess they kind of like, I'm trying to figure out the, the process and this is something that you may need to do if you do this in your county and they have these sales more frequent, not just once a year, but every month or so. They kind of clustered them this time. So there was a lot of commercial properties and um, condo multi-unit buildings as well as um, several very high-end buildings so there's a couple on there that were worth according to the tax assessors a half a million dollars or more and they went for 10 15 20 thousand dollars so these were actually really really cool um, properties to bid on but they canceled the sale again so um, try to line up two or three auctions a month is kind of difficult in the same state because they usually have them at the same time unless you have, have somebody that works for you that can go to these auctions for you um, or you know stagger them a couple different states together but um, basically I've asked the other investor the lawyer friend of mine um, what he thought of um, or is it possible to get um, liens assigned to you so then you can foreclose on them in, in case there's like something that's owed on a property which is something that you can do in other states such as Nevada I'm gonna keep moving now traffic is gone um, and he basically said it doesn't work that way in the state of Georgia in the state of Georgia you can actually you would have to actually ask the sheriff to um, have a sheriff sale and that can be for real and personal property so then they'll advertise it and then you can bid on those and it could be you know personal property like a car or something or um, real property so they don't do sale by assignment in the state of Georgia it doesn't work that way I just love walking through the streets in Savannah in the morning it is the best place to be in the morning so in any case he was my lawyer friend was only interested in one property I asked him which one and he's he told me which one it was I forget now it's probably uh, one actually he did tell me so I have a picture of it but in all essence the one statement that he made to me and these are people that are very experienced so I'm very glad that I get to listen to them but he's basically said with these tax sales tax sale foreclosures it's not what you buy but what you don't buy that matters so in any case if you want to get into tax sale foreclosure investing in rem foreclosures any kind of foreclosures you need to educate yourself go to my website julia m spencer.com subscribe to my newsletter there make sure you send me questions download any of my audiobooks there you can always ask me questions 
Um, I've gotten an overwhelming response on my book on tax sale foreclosures, so I'm trying to catch up. But if you ask me questions, I do read them right away, even if I may not get back to you right away. Um, sometimes I have already the answer in another video, so I can just send you the link or else I'll prepare a video just for you. And also, um, I've just started the first live Q&A session on my Facebook page. So, um, juliamspencer.com. I hope to see you investing very successfully soon. For your free guide to real estate investing, visit juliamspencer.com.